Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. As you can see by this, we're going to do another unboxing video. We're going to do a third tent. Now we've already done two tents and um, there were problems with both of them. Uh, the first was the uh, Man Mansfield Tent TP, the Sapphire 7. It was a fantastic tent, but it's $2,200 and so many of you can't afford it. And it's a really great tent. You'll see it in, in the rest of you, but it's so expensive. Uh, it, but it's a great tent. So far, it's passing everything we've asked for it with flying colors. Uh, the second tent we bought was a Megahorn XL made by Lux, L-U-X-E. And it's a nylon, standard nylon tent, which is a real disadvantage having a nylon tent. It's, they're both teepees, about, about the same size. Um, but uh, it did not do well in the wind. In fact, it was you were going to pull it down in every wind. And we, within the first week of having it up and someone living in it, we got a big rip in it. And I don't think it was abuse. I think it just got a big rip in it. He got up at, in the middle of the night one night to go into the bathroom. And on the way back in, he accidentally kind of stepped on the door wrong and pulled it a little bit and it ripped. And that's just, that isn't acceptable. So I don't believe, I, and it's a $500 tent. So $2,200 for a good canvas TP or $500 for what uh, probably is a good nylon TP, but will not hold up. The sun will destroy it. The wind will tear it apart. And we weren't, I wasn't, I'm not going to recommend it. Um, so I wanted to find something in between. Could I get a tent for $500 that was canvas that would hold up? And so I started looking around just for that. And what I found was bell tents. Imagine a TP, except at the bottom, the TP comes to the ground just like, you know, an A, but at the bottom you get walls, little short walls. That's a bell tent. So you can buy a $500 canvas bell tent uh, that's between 13 and 20 feet wide. So I bought this one. This is a Danchel. It's a Danchel Outdoors. That's D-A-N-C-H-E-L Outdoor. Four season, waterproof, cotton canvas, bell yurt tent. Uh, 13 feet, four meters. So um, it looks like a good tent and it's canvas. So I think it's going to be a little lower, and I hope the walls give it a little more stability in the wind, but I don't know. That's why you buy one and put it into use, and you practice, and you see how it goes. So this is the unboxing. I've had it. I've actually been dragging it around for a while, but I haven't unboxed it. It's heavy. Let me tell you right off the bat that uh, it's, I think it's like 65 pounds. It's all I can do to pick it up and carry it around by myself. I'm, I'm older, not nearly as strong as I used to be, but um, it's 65 pounds. I'm hoping that once we break out the, uh, this, the, all the steel poles, it will get a whole lot lighter and become more manageable. But before you even consider buying this tent, uh, remember that this heavy canvas is really heavy. This is $489. You know, I'm kind of rounding it off to 500. It bounces around. We're going to call it around 489, 500 bucks. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we got. The weight is pretty darned overwhelming. It just really is. Uh, every time I had to lift it in and out of the van and throw it down and then pick it back up because I've been carrying it around for a while, it, it's really a pain. Let me just pick this up. And I'm not going to exaggerate at all. I want you to see this. Uh, now, I can pick it up, but it's 65 pounds. And it's very heavy. This is very, very heavy. So one way to look at this tent is as a gym membership. <laughs> you know, it comes with a gym membership built in, just dragging the thing around and setting it up. Uh, and of course, it doesn't help that we picked one of the windiest days of the year, but that's just the way it worked, and that's what we had to do. The person that uh, is going to get this is a campground host and will be in the National Forest, a, a national forest that I know, uh, and their wind is just not an issue in, in there. And so you could, she can set this up at the beginning of the season where in her campground and never take it down, and it will serve her really, really well. So that's a case where the really oppressive weight will be less of an issue. If you have to move all the time, it would be a really big deal. Okay, so here's the stakes, some rope, guy rope. Stakes are fairly heavy. Let's take a look at the stakes. 
Um, these are good steaks. Yeah, see, this is a, that's a good steak. That is, it got, they'll give you some crap ones. I'd probably throw these away and go to Walmart and buy all these. Uh, that's a good steak. That will, that'll serve you well. Okay, yeah, this is very heavy. This is going to make a huge difference. This is probably basically just the center pole and maybe a hoop for the front door. That's a lot of weight. That's going to help a lot. If you can separate them out, you carry them one at a time, then you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Uh, I bet it's still 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, but it's now within, it's within, uh, uh, still not light. I'm not telling you that, but I could curl it a little bit. <laughs> I can do curls with it. Ooh, not for very long. That was about all I got in me. Okay, so uh, it does help. Those, this, you get all those, all that steel out of there, and it becomes a lot lighter and more practical. Okay, we're going to set it up in the wind. This is going to be comical. Uh, you might just see some, a few outtakes and then the final setup because this is going to be comical. I like that way. This is just kind of a, it, it's it's a good firm material. It, popped open nicely. I like that. So far, I'm, I'm impressed. Now the floor, now so like uh, the, the uh, Mansfield tent teepee didn't even come with a floor. You had to pay extra for it and it was $2,200. The floor is a good solid material. So far everything looks pretty good. I'm no expert. This is plain canvas. Um, and the, the this is the floor. So so this is the bottom wall. So that's probably like a couple feet. And that's that's the bottom wall. And you can open it all has a bunch of windows and doors. You get really good ventilation out of a bell tent. That's one of the best things about a bell tent. And on a hot day, say in the National Forest, you set this up on a it's 90, 100 degrees outside, which it sure can be, uh, in a lot of places, you're gonna be really grateful for this bell tent has this ventilation. So what the, as we think this is what the instruction says is to uh, the ground sheet, that's what they call this, has this pull tab and we're putting that through there and kind of pulling it taut against the others so we're keeping it round. And that has been a prob ongoing problem the times we've set up these any of these round tents is keeping it circular and uh, so it doesn't get off with shape. So this is Candy and I'm kind of uh, letting her Help me along here. Actually, she's uh, teaching me how to do this because nearly everyone's smarter than I am. Uh, and so you're getting the tent uh, yes. and you're going to be campground hosting with it. Correct. Dragging this inside to the center of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be laughing. No. You can tell we've got a pretty good wind going, so I came inside just so you could see. There's flapping. I mean, every you're going to get flapping. You cannot tighten these things down enough so there isn't flapping, but you have to decide if you can sleep in here. My personal opinion is you should have a vehicle you can sleep in when you have to, and then you live out here 90% of the time or more, but you go into your vehicle when the weather just does not allow. And the wind storms in the desert usually do not allow. You're going inside. And I, it's really handy if you could just lift the pole and drop the tent and then just stand it back up afterwards so you're not really holding it. Building it up and down every single windstorm. Uh, but again, in the National Forest in the summer, up, up once at the beginning and probably never take it down until you leave. So that's a really good thing. So, Candy, I think you basically got the tent put up. Yep. Easy peasy. It would have been a lot easier and quicker, no problem, uh, without the gale force winds. But we did it in the winds, despite the winds. And it's sturdy. It is. Uh, of all the three, I've set up all three now and been inside them in the wind. The wind's kind of calming down a little bit. But uh -huh. still, this is the, by far the most stable yep. of them. And you've got all those windows for ventilation and the mosquito net to keep the bugs out. It's, it's great. Great it tent. Is. I think this is by far uh, my favorite so far, and I think it's going to be one of the more durable ones. Well, that only time will tell, but mm -hmm. so far, so good. Yep, I agree. Okay, so there it is, the initial uh, purchase and unboxing and setup of the Danchel tent, the bell tent. This is the 12 feet, uh, 13 feet, 4 meters, 
and uh, it's $4.89 on Amazon. There'll be a link down below if you're interested in and you're going to take it and live in it. And yes. We'll hear back from you. Yes, you will. Thank you, Bob. Great. Appreciate yeah. it. And so, uh, folks, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Candy. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it.